Hello everybody, and welcome to Morzak EV, a channel dedicated to all things electric vehicles, electric vehicle charging, and all related technologies. And today, I wanted to do a bit of a reaction video to an article that was recently posted in the Times. Been covered in flies here on my new top so this is a a new top we've just done a video on this a couple of weeks ago yeah yeah what do you think right oh god not worse than boris johnson um so you check that out by clicking the card above or just have us browse around our channel for all of our other videos make sure you like share and subscribe to get notifications of our future videos. So this article was printed in the Times. It is available online. I've put a link in the description below. You can check it out. So the article I'm referring to is an article about BP Pulse um, and the way that some customers have been waiting months on end to get their chargers installed. But it is an interesting read. and does give you some insight um, into uh, you know, what some customers are facing BP Pulse used to be BP Charge Master and before that Charge Master. So they were an independent company who were purchased by BP and have been sort of rolled into their network if you like. And BP Pulse do home charging installations and very often they're recommended by large car dealers um, like people like Land Rover, Audi, um, Sayat, VW. Um, Basically, they get the dealers to recommend themselves for home installations. Now, I don't want this to turn into a bashing video where I'm bashing BP Pulse, but what I did want to do is point out some of the differences between how companies like that operate. Um, and, you know, it's inevitable because of their size, some of the pros and some of the cons compared to small businesses um, and local installers like ourselves. So, like I say, in the past, I have had a little dig at um, companies like BP Pulse. Check out our YouTube shorts. I don't know, say a British petroleum company of some kind. <laughs> However, if it wasn't for companies like them, mass adoption would be very difficult. Um, and because of people like them, people like myself, wouldn't be running small businesses. We'd really struggle because EVs just wouldn't be a thing. So I do have a lot of respect for these companies. However, I think it's worth people understanding the differences between those companies and companies like us, and then their charge points and some of the charge points that we do. So in the article, it was pretty damning of BP Pulse um, and the fact that some of their customers have paid money up front and then been waiting months and months and still not had their chargers installed. And they've been having to use the three pin plug charger charging at very slow rates, about a third of what you get on a seven kilowatt charger. Um, and they've been very disappointed and messed around. And I'll be honest with you, this isn't news to me. We have a lot of customers who decide, you know, we give them quotes, they decide to go with companies like BP Pulse. And then um, a month down the line, they're getting very frustrated and they come back to us and end up having us do an install for them. So why would companies choose people like BP Pulse in the first place? Well, like I say, they're highly recommended. There's a bit of misinformation. A lot of car dealers will say, point at a BP Pulse unit, they have a nice stand in a lot of car dealers, and they'll point at those units and say, this is what we recommend and what will work best with your vehicle. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. That's misinformation because they're being paid to do that. So they're getting kickbacks from those charge point manufacturers and the char type two charging standard and the type one charging standard are standards. Your vehicle will work with any charger. If it's a type one vehicle, it will work with any type one charger. And if it's a type two vehicle, which is most on sale now in the UK, it'll work with any type two. Also, I've heard a lot of car dealers telling customers that their vehicle, you need a specific charger to work with that vehicle. 
um, and if you change your vehicle down the line to a Tesla for example, Tesla's obviously often one of the ones cited that has a different charge point um, adapter or whatever, it's not true. My Tesla will work on the same charge point as my Peugeot van and um, my mother-in-law's MG ZS EV plugs into the same charge point. They all work and they all work really well on our chargers. We have an Indra over there, a Zappi and an Omi at the moment um, and they all work perfectly fine. So I guess moral one of this story is beware of what car dealers are telling you because through either um, through a bit of misleading and or just a lack of knowledge and trust me a lot of car dealers are short on the knowledge front and that, so they're going down the route of going with people like BP Pulse. So the next thing to take into account is companies like BP Pulse um, they will take your booking and they will take a lot of money up front usually the full amount of the install and then come back to you later with an installation date. So one of the things that we pride ourselves on is, is um, working with customers to find out when they get in the car and seeing when we can fit them in. Now the fact that they're busy is just an inevitability of the fact that there's not enough installers out there at the moment and the demand for electric vehicles is increasing and the demand for charge points is increasing. So we've just taken somebody on and yet we're, you know, we're fitting more installs in than ever and yet we've fully booked for you know we're looking at six to eight weeks before we can fit people in um, there are the odd small installs we can squeeze in here and there but we're really really busy which is great for us but not great if you're buying say a second-hand vehicle getting it next week and you're doing a lot of miles and you need a charge point I have had customers turn around to me and say BP Pulse can do it quicker uh, my advice to the customer is you know that's fine it, you need to if you need the charge point we can't fit you in you've got to go with them that's fine but, but beware because people at companies like that are telling customers up front that they can do the installs sooner than they can actually do them and then they're getting their dates are getting pushed back so to make sure if you're going to get that install done you want to get it in writing that it will be done on that date and you're not going to get kicked back and kicked back because if you're going with that company because they can do that install quickly you don't want to be let down again I'm not saying they will always lie I know a lot of customers who are very happy with what the, what's been done however we also know a lot of customers who have been let down in this fashion and we've stepped in and helped them out so these are all things to consider and we will always agree a date with yourselves um, and barring some kind of supply problem or some issue with your deer now because of say a loop supply again you can check out the video above on loop supplies if you don't understand about that we will agree a date and we will stick to it companies like BP Pulse they will um, try and do mass charge point installations so they pick very in simple installations and then um, their installers go around doing those installations day in day out but they're only installing one unit which is their BP Pulse unit now um, it's very familiar you've seen them all over the place um, it's not a particularly smart unit it doesn't have some of the functionality of the units that ours does um, I don't believe it's superior in quality to anything that we do so you know again these are all things to take into consideration I believe what we're installing on the most part is premium products um, their software is very good each one is designed to meet certain situations so again we have a consultation and we will work with you to decide what the damn flies take 12 we will work with you guys then to decide what the best charge point is for your particular application. Using a local company, there are advantages. Um, we believe we offer that level of care and customer service that they don't offer. Um, you know, when you're talking to us, you're talking to us. You're not talking to somebody in an office who isn't coming on site. So there are advantages to that level of customer care. 
and advantages to getting problems sorted out and all those little sort of touches giving you the demo on the app and now that's a beef that a lot of people have with these companies is they'll come in throw the charge point on the wall disappear and you have to figure out how to set up the app so again we'll show you how to set up the app and we're willing to work with you to um, make sure you're happy with everything before we leave site so i hope that gives you some insight into the way we're running our business and how that differs from how some of the big companies inevitably have to run their businesses i um, hope that information is useful to you if it is give us a cheeky thumbs up on that like button if you're interested in an install make sure you contact us on our website email one of our social media channels if you're buying a tesla make sure you check out our tesla referral code to get 1000 free supercharger miles make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications of future videos and in the meantime Thanks very much for watching.